Hey guys, so today I wanted to make an overview and unboxing of the Nokia C2 Tenon, which I bought brand new from Target. Now, you may be wondering, why did I waste money on this phone? I don't need another one, I have many. <laughs> but I bought this because if you can see here, it is on clearance, it was on clearance for $21 off from 70. And actually, I didn't even realize there's two tags here. Oh, and it was marked down again because it was originally $34.99 marked down. Interesting. But yeah, I'm gonna unbox this phone um, just because I haven't done a phone unboxing in a very long time and I wanted to unbox a brand new phone for this channel. And I have unboxed phones recently, like my iPhone 12, but that was off camera. So I thought I kind of owed it to you guys to unbox this. So yeah, we're gonna get into it. Oh, I just hit my tripod. Um, I'm gonna give a general overview of the phone and everything, show it all, and maybe influence someone's buying decision. So yeah, as you can see, it's already been opened up. I did unbox it before, but I put it back together the best I could because I wanted to get it unboxed and set up for this video. So I was able to um, show you guys stuff about it. So yeah, um, starting off, here's the box. Um, as you can see there, it's on Cricut Wireless. I'm just gonna adjust this a little bit. So yeah, this one's on Cricut Wireless. Um, so if you have a Cricut plan, that's good for you. <laughs> and um, this is the Nokia C2 Tenon. Um, I, it's a Nokia 2 series of phone. I think it's the newer 2 series phone. Like there was the um, 2V and stuff like that and 2.1. Nokia has a weird naming scheme, but nonetheless, um, here's this one. And on the box, it just shows some stats, 5.4 inch, er, inch touchscreen, Android operating system. Um, it shows the camera's eight megapixel and two megapixel rear camera. It's a dual camera setup and a two megapixel front camera. And then the two gigahertz quad core processor. And then obviously 4G LTE because, well, this is 2021, that's the standard now. And it has been for a while. On the back of the box, it just shows some advertising about Cricut. And on the side, has more advertising. And on the side, it shows stuff about the phone. It shows the same information plus uh, up to 32 gigabytes of external storage or internal storage. And then you can add an SD card for up to 128 gigabytes. So, yeah, let's get into the box. Um, when you pull it out, this is just empty. And in here is the package holding the phone. So we're just gonna open this up. Starting off, we have the charger. Um, this is a USB-C charger. It's USB-A, it's USB-C. Um, you plug it into the brick, obviously, and this charger outputs at five volts, one amp, so pretty much the standard for budget phones like this. Um, you can't really complain for $20, and then you just have some service guides, terms and conditions, um, setup guide to activate the phone and then here product and safety info just normal stuff and then we have a quick start guide because apparently we need two of those oh I don't know and then we have the Cricut sim card which I'm never going to use I'm just going to put this in my um like my muffin <laughs> um I have a bunch of old sim cards in here that I use for phones like to activate them sometimes because some Android phones like Sprint ones sometimes require you to have a sim card in it. it I don't know it's weird but I just keep them in here so I always have sim cards none of them are activated but you know then here there's just this random card <laughs> and then we can get to the phone pop that out and as you can see here on the back we have the dual camera setup and a uh, flash. We have a Nokia logo and then a Cricut logo. The back is like a soft touch ridged pattern. And then down here we have a speaker with a little dimple so it doesn't get muffled on the table. At the bottom, we have a USB-C port and then a microphone. At the top, we have the headphone jack and another microphone. On the right side, we have the uh, power button, volume down, volume up. And then on the left side, which is kind of interesting and unique to Nokia phones, it has a Google Assistant button. So if you use that, you can use Google Assistant with it, but I don't know if it's reprogrammable. I can probably figure that out when we get the phone turned on, but 
And then over here we have this little notch to take off the back cover. And here we have the removable battery. Oh, I'm not going to show that. <laughs> That's the IMEI info. Um, not that it really matters because I'm never going to activate it. But anyway, uh, it's a 3000 milliamp hour battery. Pretty good size for this phone considering it's a low power, uh, I think it's 1080p screen. But it's only 5.4 inches. So just make sure the back cover's back on. And funnily enough, when I bought this, it wasn't turning on and the battery was dead, but it didn't come up with the battery dead screen for like a few minutes, so I thought that the phone was broken. So <laughs> that would have been annoying to have to return and get another one. But pulling off the screen peel, and I'm just gonna lay that there. I'll put it back in the box. So here's the front of the phone. At the top here, we have the two megapixel selfie camera, the earpiece, and a Nokia logo, which I kind of like that, that they have it at the top corner. And at the bottom, there's absolutely nothing besides a big chin. So now what we're going to do, we're going to turn it on. So when we hold the power button, we get a powered by Android screen, as you can see there. And then it flashes the Nokia logo. And then the Cricut logo. And a very loud that. <laughs> so, when it turns on, we can see, with because of the nav bar, this phone runs Android 10 Go Edition. At least I believe it's Go Edition, because... When you unlock it, the icons are squared off, which is usually a sign that it's a Go phone. But the software is very snappy, it runs pretty smooth, and having a, well, besides that occasionally, because the phone just turned on, um, it has the swipe navigation, which is very nice for a cheap phone like this, because it's just a very nice navigation method. The screen, like I said, is a 1080p panel, or it could be 720, I frankly don't know. It looks 1080 to my eye. But um, the only complaint with this part on the home screen is there's a really big bottom bar down there where the wallpaper is, but I don't really know. It doesn't bother me that much. But yep, I can go into the settings and you can see with the dark mode is another telltale sign that it's Android 10. You can see Android 10. And the swipe back gesture goes into Chrome, apparently. <laughs> um, but yeah, as you can see, Android 10. And then popping over into CPU-Z to see the rest of the specs. This has a MediaTek Helio A22 clocked at 2 gigahertz. It's a quad-core processor, um, 12 nanometer process. And for a budget phone like this, this processor should be fine. It's relatively power efficient. It scores pretty well for its category on Geekbench. I ran a Geekbench 5 test and it got around uh, 158 and 563, which for a budget phone like this, that's expected. Um, it may benefit from being a um, octa-core if it was, but frankly, I've had no issues with the performance on this phone. It runs perfectly fine. And then here's the GPU information. I don't know anything about that. All I know is this is a relatively budgety, uh, processor. I don't know much about MediaTek um, processors, but it's model MT6761. And coming over here, we can see it's the Nokia C2 Tenon. Um, it says the screen is 5.4 inches. Okay, and it is 720p, although it's a very good panel. It For 720p, the colors, well, that doesn't really affect it, but it's an IPS LCD screen. It has really good colors, and you really can't tell. Sorry, I'm looking at it up close. You really can't tell. It looks like it's 1080p just because of the really, like, it has, a, it has a relatively high pixel density, so I guess that's what makes it look good. But it has two gigs of RAM and 32 gigs of storage, which for a phone like this, that's expected, but also very nice to have. Over here, we can see, once again, Android 10, and then the battery, doesn't show much about that, and then that's just other thermals. Um, this phone is a 4G LTE phone and is capable of 5G Wi-Fi, so 
standard everything there and it's Android 10 so you can get pretty much all the apps. And since this is Go edition of Android, if it is, I, I don't quote me on that, but um, it's very good on storage and 32 gigs will be not a problem for most people. Coming into the camera, it's a budget phone, so you really can't expect mo much with the camera. Um, it's pretty good. Um, I don't think I've taken any pictures on it, but it has decent colors. It has decent, um, like, available lighting conditions. It's really not that bad of a camera, but it's not going to be that great compared to something like an iPhone or Galaxy S21. And then coming into the selfie camera... Um, <laughs> You can see me and my horrid hair right now because I just woke up like an hour ago. But um, the front camera isn't too bad. It's, well, it's actually pretty crappy. <laughs> what can you expect for a budget phone? It's only two megapixels. Um, but I've definitely seen worse. And then going back to the Google Assistant button, when you tap that, it comes up with Google Assistant. And just coming in here, I wanna see if I can reprogram the button. Well, I'm not on Wi-Fi right now, what happens? Okay, so it doesn't look like this button is reprogrammable. Um, I looked a little bit before to see if I could, but it didn't look like I could. So I guess this is just a dedicated Google Assistant only button. But it, in reality, you could just open camera. Right, <laughs> well, I'm assuming you can just tell Google Assistant to open the camera, like you can with Siri and stuff like that. And it has all the normal Google Assistant functions, so there shouldn't be any issues there. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this quick little overview of the Nokia C2 Tenon. Um, this is not a full review, it's kind of just an unboxing and overview. If you guys want to see a review on this phone, I could make one. <laughs> but until then, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to like and subscribe, and I will see you guys next time.